Everyone walks, but in the United States, sharing the roadway is becoming increasingly hazardous for pedestrians. In 2016, 6,080 pedestrians were killed. That's a death every 90 minutes. Pedestrians account for 16% of our traffic fatalities, a 41% growth since 2009. Here in Alabama, our statistics show similar trends. In 2016, the number of pedestrian injuries increased 10% and pedestrian fatalities increased 27% over the previous year. Current data also shows that most of the deaths are occurring on our busiest suburban and urban roads. They usually happen away from the intersection and most occur at night. In Montgomery, along Southern Boulevard, plans to improve access management were underway. The Alabama Department of Transportation decided to consider possible design options that would increase safety for the pedestrian along the corridor. In fact, ALDOT, in partnership with Federal Highway Administration, chose to use this segment of Southern Boulevard as a demonstration project, allowing ALDOT and FHWA to collaborate on design features that can serve as an example for other locations facing similar issues. This segment of Southern Boulevard is typical of suburban arterials designed decades ago. Its design features, such as wide pavement and lack of pedestrian facilities, reference a time when our primary design focus was on maximizing motor vehicle mobility. Today, Southern Boulevard carries about 42,000 vehicles per day and has a posted speed limit of 55 miles per hour. Well-worn footpaths are evidence of the heavy pedestrian traffic along the corridor. Based on these conditions and the greater than expected number of pedestrian fatalities, ALDOT recognized the importance of accommodations for pedestrians along the roadway. Here are some of the design features. The warm footpaths on each side of the street will be replaced with sidewalks. In general, pedestrians are more than twice as likely to be struck along roadways without sidewalks than on roadways with sidewalks on both sides. A raised median will be installed to control the locations where left turning movements occur. Collecting the left turns improves safety for both motor vehicle traffic and pedestrians by consolidating conflict points. Also, if a pedestrian chooses to cross where facilities are not provided, the median can act as a refuge for the pedestrian between opposing directions of traffic. Small speed reductions are also associated with installation of raised medians. Since many of the pedestrian fatalities on the roadway have occurred away from intersections, ALDOT recognized the need for high visibility mid-block crosswalks. Providing mid-block crosswalks should minimize unexpected crossings at uncontrolled locations. Two mid-block crosswalks will be installed. Each will have high visibility pavement markings and a pedestrian actuated traffic signal. Lighting along the roadway will be updated to meet current design practices and pedestrians are expected to benefit. ALDOT knew that pedestrians are most vulnerable at night and street lighting would improve pedestrian visibility. In fact, research has shown that street lighting can reduce pedestrian crashes at night by 50% on average. Roadway lighting near crosswalks will be placed to maximize pedestrian visibility. The roadway design also includes consolidating some entrances and closing redundant ones. These access management treatments will help pedestrians in two ways. Closing redundant entrances and making driveways only as wide as necessary reduces pedestrian exposure to vehicle traffic turning on and off the roadway and is expected to slow traffic. Those are just some of the improvements planned to enhance safety for all users on Southern Boulevard in Montgomery. If you would like more information about the project, contact ALDOT Southeast Region Office. If you would like more information about pedestrian safety, visit FHWA's website.